Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Durani here from VG247.com and Apex Legends new season 12 is here and I've been checking it out. So we've got a new legend, Mad Maggie, a brand new limited time mode called Control, which is really well implemented, a new season pass, Olympus is finally back and they've shuffled the POIs around and there's also some weapon changes. Let's discuss it all. So firstly, we have the new legend Mad Maggie. Her passive is called Warlord's Ire. Temporarily highlight enemies you damage and no movement speed penalty when you're wielding shotguns. So the first part, highlighting enemies, doesn't last as long as you think it would, but its main purpose I've found is that when you're in a fight with someone that keeps jiggle peeking in and out of cover, instead of pre-firing and guessing when they'll peek, you can just see when they're about to peek. Also, it's great for knowing where the enemies have stopped behind cover so you can more accurately place your right drill tactical ability. The second part is no movement penalty for wielding shotguns. This is the same movement speed you get when you have your knife out and it's so fast in fights that it will throw you off and feel weird for a little while. It gives me the same disorienting feeling that happens when you use Bloodhound's ultimate. It's no big deal but you must adjust your sensitivity in real time accordingly. Her tactical ability is called Riot Drill and is something I can already see being nerfed very soon. As Apex has gone on, people have learned to play cover and play it well. Mad Maggie's Riot Drill is a direct counter to people behind cover and people are in cover basically all of the time. It forces players to move. If you sit in that Riot Drill, your shields will be ripped off so fast. It's an ability that in the final ring will change the way players move. If I was you, I would start running Watson in your team comps. Her ultimate ability is called Wrecking Ball. You throw a ball that releases speed boosting pads and detonates near enemies. Okay, so these speed boosting pads on the floor coupled up with Mad Maggie's shotgun passive makes the move speed ridiculous. And the slide distance? Oh, if you're a confident player that likes to take aggressive pushes, you'll love this ultimate. The explosion that the ball does isn't significant in damage, but it does look like it has some form of homing or lock onto the enemies. The ultimate is straight chaos because the speed boosting pads can also be used by the enemies. So everyone's just got the zoomies and it's on such a short cooldown as well. All in all, I really like how a kit flows, the loop of getting a jump on someone to force them into cover, knowing where they are because of your passive and where they've stopped and what action they're doing like healing and then stopping them healing using the right drill to force them out of cover and then to make the final push with your ultimate speed. She's really great, really nice addition. The new season pass is pretty cool, mainly the final evolving hemlock skin at level 100 and 110. The best map is back in rotation with some new POIs. Everyone was calling for Olympus to come back into ranked and it's the same but different. They've basically shuffled the map around because in Apex Legends lore, the map is modular and it just floats in the air. But the main areas on the map feel the same, but as you're rotating through, you're sort of like, hold up. This wasn't here before, this was on the other side of the map. Some weapon changes around the alternator is back on the floor again and taking its place in the care package is the Vault SMG. Hammer point rounds are back in the game now so the Mozambique, P2020 and the RE45 are a bit more viable and the flatline and longbow are in the replicator to be crafted and I really like that change because the flatline is one of my favourite guns so now I'll be able to run it more consistently. Also, Apex Legends are doing a limited time mode called Control. Respawn looked at DICE and said, Thanos voice, fine, I'll do it myself. Because it's essentially conquest from Battlefield. It's a 9 versus 9 mode with respawns, loadout, and you wouldn't believe it, a scoreboard. It's really fun. Something that I think Apex Legends needed was a faster, lower stakes game mode. Arena was close, but it needed a game mode with respawn just so you can hop in, have fun without all the downtime and waiting for the round to end or for your teammate to bring you back. It's something that I most definitely think they should keep in the game. But that is it for season 12. This is more of a standard update. It's not as big as some of the previous updates have been, but I like it. They've also balanced some of the legends as well, but it's nothing worth noting here. They are, <laughs> I say that, but if you are a ranked player, they are worth noting. But for the sake of this video, I'll put them on screen here. But my name is Durani from VG247. Peace out, everyone.